on this edition of the news. We're going to talk about the, the Boba Fett throne room potentially being that HasLab. Hmm, got some evidence to show you. Info about the Mandalorian Grogu Arvala 7 figure or the Muddy Mando figure. Uh, some updates on the price increases for Black Series and Vintage and also a case breakdown of Black Series and Vintage upcoming for summertime. All this more coming up. Welcome to my television, your home action figure news. Today, we're going to talk about that fantastic playset. Yes, this one. This is the Boba Fett throne room. And you can see Bib Fortuna sitting on the chair. <laughs> As you are aware, it is 229 US dollars. It is sold through Hasbro Pulse, so it's available in the US, Canada, and the UK, as I said. And it's also coming to the EU as well, which means it'll be available in Germany and potentially France. I can't remember, but yeah, it's going to be available there. However, I said in my previous video, I believe it will be exclusive to EB Games slash Zing Pop Culture Stores here in Australia and New Zealand. And I was correct. That is right. And the downside, as most Aussies have found out, a whopping $598 is the asking price with the date of the 31st of December 2023, a long way down the road. My friends in New Zealand have it for $650. This is a massive markup. This is, this is robbery. <laughs> One exclusive retailer can just name their price and this is what we get. Wow. Don't they want us to get one? Really? It does have a release date of September 1st, 2023 for you guys in North America. I don't know why the date is stretched right out to the end of December. Maybe they're just covering their bets or something, but the price on it is huge. That one really hurts collectors. That's a, a big, big turnoff. However, that price, when I, I didn't know about it at the time, and I said, this looks like a HasLab, that price screams HasLab. In one of the Q&As that they do, the Hasbro brand team, they said this about it being a HasLab. This is an amazing set. It comes with a little higher price tag because of all the pieces to it. Was this at one point des um, designed or uh, thought to be the next uh, vintage collection HasLab? And if not, why? Yeah, no, it, you know, it was always intended to be a pure Pulse exclusive. Uh, and I think it's kind of due to the lower price point uh, and accordingly the, the lower resources needed. And I will just say, I think we were excited to explore this area like between, you know, the, the brick and mortar items and then kind of the, the dream half lab items. We thought that there was an opportunity for this other way. And, you know, hopefully that'll be the case. So it's something in the middle, is it? Really? Well, thanks to, I'm going to shout out these guys for handing me the cam. Oh, go with the Cowboys, he's an Aussie, and Liam Snoodle as well. Thank you to you guys who found this info for me to bring to my attention. Look at this, everybody. This is how it's being sold as Boba Fett's throne room. It includes Bib Fortuna figure, premium 3.75 inch scale figures, playset, and instructions. Down the bottom, this figure is crowdfunded opportunity and is not yet confirmed for production. If this item is not cleared for production, you will receive a full refund of your deposit. Copyright 2022 Hasbro All Rights Reserved. That would not be put on any product. This would have to be told to them. It's a HasLab. It's coming. Here's the details. As you know, I'm an independent voice in this community to tell you these things. I just thought that's what it looked like to me. I've understood pricing and things that go on in this community. I don't have Hasbro in my ear telling me what to say or how to say it. I just say it the way I think it comes out. This, hello, was a HasLab. <laughs> it's not now, but it is an amazing looking set. It has an amazing price on it in my part of the world. That's for damn sure. It all seems so expensive. Perhaps if the Australian community and the New Zealand community rise up and say, hey, fix that price. Someone's gouging us, taking us to the cleaners. We want that reduced down. I will say this. It is a beautiful looking playset. Don't get me wrong. Long way out to wait like 17 months. Woo! 
The only question I ask is that thing I just showed you there, why is it there? Why is it on the website there? Let me know your thoughts down below. Awesome. Now, let's move on to the Dark Trooper. The deluxe one just got re revealed. Lovely, lovely. Uh, in other parts of the world, they're saying this is a long way off. This is like 2023. However, it is listed on EB Games in this country for $65 dues for a Saturday 1st of October release. Ta-da! So, who will be first in the world? Watch this space. The Black Series Mandalorian Grugu Arvala 7 Muddy Mando. Uh, you may have seen in the the live stream they mentioned this thing will be on the shelves it March 27th March 27th you walk into Target in the US because it's exclusive to them it'll be sitting right there for you however in this country we have it available on the 24th at Toy Mate for $70 Pop Culture $70 Zavi $71 and the two cheapest in the market are Goodies Toys for $64.95 and Aussie Sci-Fi for $64.99. We're going to move on to the price increases now. They did talk about price increases and I'll read out exactly what the press release says. The breakdown goes like this. Uh, Star Wars Black Series Basic Assortment of $22.99 is going to $24.99. The Black Series Archive Assortment from $22.99 to $24.99 as well. The Black Series Deluxe Assortment is going from $31.99. 49 to 33.99. The biggest price increase is for the deluxe figures which will jump by $2.50 while the basic assortment and the archive line will increase by $2. The vintage collection figures go from $13.99 to $14.99. The vintage collection exclusives single carded are $20.99. The Star Wars vintage collection deluxe assortment goes to $26.49 and the troop builder packs are staying at $41.99 and there's no info on retro what they're going to do with that probably stay the same let's hope it stays the same here in this country as you may have seen on my Instagram we don't have $33.99 we have $70 is the price for our new deluxe Maldo crease Mando and Grogu with a giant spider in it. Yeah, that's the standard price. Uh, the Dark Trooper you saw earlier is 65. Why this is 70, I don't know. Looks damn good. Right alongside the original one here. When he was called Din Djarin. <laughs> Finally, we have some code breakdowns for you. Case code breakdowns, I should say. If you're going to buy a case of Black Series figures, here we have two Death Watch Mandalorians, two Ahsokas, two Echoes, one Client, one Omega. And then we go over to the TVC case breakdown. You're going to buy a case of them. Two Death Watch Mandalorians, two Ahsoka. I see a trend. <laughs> two Fennec Shans, one Yoda, and one 501st Clone Trooper, which everybody will want to army build, which will make it difficult. But these will be out June 2022 in the summertime. Big shout out to my buddy Flower Alligator on Instagram, and they know why. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. My name is Usual Mike. If you'd like to support the channel, there is the join button. Hit that join button, become a member of the channel, and help us make more videos. Or you might like to go down to the Amazon affiliates link in the description, buy something nice that also helps out the channel. And there's also the Red Bubble store where you can pick up some of my merch featuring the logos. If you'd like to follow me on social media, I'm on Twitter at UsualMike30 or on Instagram at TV, and if you haven't done so already, hit subscribe, Ooh. tap that little bell for notifications, slap a like on the video if you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. All the best.